Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival on the Radio Man 03. It is really great to have you along. We're out of copper. Yeah. It's kind of sp everything's kind of sprawled out all over the place in here. But yeah, we're out of copper and getting really low on the other guys too. So today I do have to do some grind work with you. Uh, I made a fresh drill. I forgot to put this drill in before I did it, but we've got a fresh drill. Uh, we've got the drill down here too. I've not made the repair station yet. Not planning on making it right away. Uh, but there was a good tip last episode in the comments, and that is if we want to keep our ships the way they look and not have to remember how they look, the one thing we're definitely going to want to get a hold of is the repair station. Uh, where is the repair base station here? Uh, FSB, if I do this? Or just base? I think it's base. Hmm. It's here somewhere, but I've not got the points to learn. Oh, you know, I bet it's down here. Here we go, right here. There's a Tier 1 and Tier 2, so... Uh, we want to get that going for sure. The auto miners, too, coming up very soon as well. Once we get the points we need to learn all that stuff, we can do that. Warp drive tank. That's a big one there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so, <clears throat> yeah, we've got to get some parts. We need copper, iron, and silicon, of course. The the, the usual. Uh, out here on Merv, I finally figured out what it was that exploded off of this thing. We lost one of our rear thrusters right here, so I fixed that up. Uh, I've not changed the paint job. I'm kind of liking the paint the way it is i like the one of you guys called it the racing green and i do like the green up on top this lighter green as opposed to on the bottom uh, i think it's just going to make it uh i don't know a little bit brighter i guess to just to be able to see and i like the color anyways um and i did add a light to it somewhere around here maybe uh, right there right there so at night when we're driving down driving around at night you can see better so we'll be taking merv out today uh we're also going to take the new ship out too and we've got a name suggestion for it i'm going to stop moving around for just a second paul somebody recommended the name betty uh base elimination traveling inventory because i did talk about the fact that this this ship is going to come down secondary and once we clear a building we'll bring betty in and we'll uh we'll dismantle the building and everything in it here's what she looks like in the end now we could probably still make some changes and things like that to it but i'm pretty happy with how uh she's turned out she's pretty solid that's for sure um, I still do not have all four of the side thrusters up on top, and I don't know if I'm okay with the paint scheme. Part of me thinks, and you guys kind of brought it to my attention, you feel like it looks a lot like the uh, dropship from Alien 2 as well as the Pelican from Halo. Uh, just the shape, and I think what gives it that look is the wings as well as this tail section that kind of swoops up the back like so and comes out the back right here. It kind of gives it that Pelican look from Halo. Um... I like the name Betty. We're going to go with that, but I'm not so sure about the paint scheme. I'm kind of the blues and the reds and things like that, and I just don't really like them very much. I like the greens and the browns, but I'm not big on the blues and the reds. So I'm thinking about taking this one and just putting it back to the metal color. Once you uh, put this texture on here, it tends to give it a nice dark gray color, and I think it, uh, it might look better dark gray as opposed to uh, black and white. Other thing, I was having trouble with the ramps. I actually misrepresented the ramps from last time. I forgot that if you put two one, one wide ramps together, two, two three wide ramps together, whatever, they adjoin to each other and they become one solid ramp. So I tried the ramps out on here and I don't like them. Uh, so I left a little landing platform right here. And as you can see, I've got these guys set up on a sensor. So if I jump up in here, oh, great been hitting it all weekend working on Betty here and it works just fine so we've got the sensor right up here if I walk back here it turns it off it's a very narrow field that this is here we've got our constructors back here and I've got two constructors here you saw the storage containers we put all this together back here these guys light up once I turn the ship on uh, let's go Boom. I also changed the light in here to red and I put it back in here and up above and that really uh, calm down the lighting in here. I think you guys are right. The lights that are outside in the sunshine, all that kind of comes through the walls of the blocks and it makes it look very bright in here. So I turned it to red. That was a suggestion and it turned out pretty good, I think. Uh, but these guys light up down here on the floor, which is pretty cool. I love how some of the uh, textures do that. And then we've got this over here. Another suggestion was is don't put everything on one side of the ship. What if this side of the ship gets blown up and we lose things over here? Then we don't have stuff on this side of the ship. So I've divvied up some of the things, but not all of the things. All the O2 is still over here. We've got our, our armory over here. and I don't have a second armory over here, but I did move one of the fridges over here. We've got a fridge over here as well. And then we've got blocks like ventilators underneath them going on. I also have part of the ammo over here, rockets and rounds. And then I've got uh, rockets and rounds over 
over on this side as well just to kind of divide that up and then I put a bar across here I've noticed that these things sit flat on the floor and if you were to move around too much uh, stuff could slide out so I thought well we'll put this makeshift bar up here and just pretend like this holds all those things back and of course maybe you, you know hinged it and stuff like that you could open and close it and get to things like that uh, another thing I did to the ship Yes, I know, I know. I'm wasting a little bit of oxygen. I'm sorry. Uh, I painted the inside. I got the paint scheme all taken care of inside the texture scheme. I'm happy with how this turned out inside. Uh, I like it. It's, it's great. Uh, I also added two generators and four more fuel tanks, three or four more fuel tanks. And I think you guys forgot, but on episode, I think it was nine or so, we put the warp drive in. Matter of fact, the warp drive was the very first thing we attached to this ship and its tank. But they are all underneath here. They are a block below us. And uh, no radiation underneath there. That's why I was checking radiation last episode to see if it was going to be a problem or not. Uh, how badly did that affect 92%? We're good to go there. So this is airtight. Obviously, you saw that. The ventilator works just fine, even with that little hatch over the top of it. That little metal hatch works just great. Uh, let me take you up on the roof here, and we're not going to hop too far. I do want to add two more side thrusters, two here, two here, but we need more cobalt for that. Oh, it's a foggy day. It's all right. Uh, the wings came out like so, and I think we actually had the wings done last episode, and I think we got most of this done. This does glow very nicely with a red light in here, uh, and we have the back end kind of decorated too. Let me turn my light on for you. I tapered off the edge here all the way around, so it does that right now all the way around here, so it's got a nice angle to it uh, along the edges, and I added an extra little piece of here that was not there in the last episode as well. So it's got sort of a, a point that comes out a little bit right there. It kind of adds a little bit of flavor to it, and it protects those thin blocks that are right here that are on the side of the engines as well. But that's Betty. I hope you guys like her. You guys seem pretty pleased with how she was turning out, and I'm glad you, uh, you like the way the ship looks. But, oh, wow. So that's Betty. <clears throat> Again, I am thinking about um, changing it all back to gray and having it a dark gray, putting lettering on it and all that good stuff. And it, it should look more like a kind of a military operation type uh, type ship. I put these guys in here too. This also, uh, it's kind of cool because you can use, like I said, some of these textures, they glow. So you've got this really neat uh, white dash going on around these round, uh, these round circles on the side of the ship. So it adds a little extra flavor to it, I think. And I put those, I put a little something extra. I can't get through there. Uh, I put a little bit of extra right back here too. So up in here, this all turns white as well, up underneath, like conduit, running things back and forth from uh, one wing to the next. I do not want to reduce my thrusters. I do not want to do that. I like having all of them. Uh, this is a good way for me to experiment on what it is I'm uh, doing with the ship and, and how much I need and what I don't need and all that good stuff. And I want a bunch of thrusters on here because I think they look good. So we're going to go with it just the way it is and I'll just have to uh, you know, pay the gas mileage. That's all there is to it. So that is Betty. I would like to take Betty up into space today to see exactly what the uh, <coughs> initial orbit around the planet has in store for us. But before I do that, I do need to run off in Merv uh, and take Merv out and get... You know, some, some necessities of life. Copper, silicon, and iron. All of which are quite nearby, and I don't expect to run into any kind of trouble at all. Um, here we go, up we go. I'm really enjoying Merv. Merv has turned out to be a really great ship to have. Let's take a look at our map. I think I want to head down this way, because you guys said I missed some containers down inside of uh, the crashed capital vessel. Actually, I, lo I missed stuff. Unknown structure, colony, yeah, those are all trouble right there. Silicon, silicon. Do we have everything open yet? Not quite. Almost all the silicon deposits are, but we still have quite a few things in here that we could discover. Ancient shelter, ancient shelter. I don't recall discovering that, but then again. Uh, alien tower, unknown structure. Oh, I thought it was down on this area. Weapon bunker, unknown helix, crash. Oh, there it is. There's the Titan. Okay, so there it is. It's way over there. I missed some stuff, some some crates and things like that in there. Uh, I wasn't too concerned about that. I was really happy just to have found them. Uh, where are we? I'm, I'm kind of going for the ores that are closest to home right now. 
I'm going to tighten back part, front part, that part. What do we got here? Abandoned mine and the... Uh, okay, the abandoned factory. Right, right, right. We love those guys. Unknown artifact. I want to find... Where is where is our dang house at? There it is. Uh, it's small. Small. Advanced spaceport. They're going to just shoot at us like crazy. What do we got over here? A village. Small. Medium. Medium. Let's go over here and let's knock these guys out first. I'm going to go over there and uh, knock those guys out quick because they're, they're very close by and it won't take me long to do it. And then we can get back on and do something else in here. Uh, I meant to do some of this over the weekend, but I got kind of tied up and I was unable to do uh, some of this grind stuff off work uh, over the weekend. So I think what I want to do today is really get uh, Betty up into space to see exactly what we have in store for us up there. Uh, we're also going to have to gather up some Pentaxid as well. So that's going to be something in uh, my life as well. We've got to kind of do the Pentaxid. Oh, the other thing you guys brought to my attention too, and I, I knew you had at uh, a different moment, but um, the large lakes is where we're going to find our um, alien. ZR1 or whatever it's called. You can make it in the uh, food processor as well, but it takes eggs. And eggs are just not an easy thing for me to come by right now. So I thought, why bother with that when I could just do it this way? Am I going to be in a radiated biome for this? Oh, well, that's... Why? I must have run out of oxygen in there. I think we were low last time we took her, took her out. It's okay, I've got more oxygen I can put in. No big deal. The copper deposit is... Oh, there's some talents out here. Looks like that's about the closest we're going to get to it. It's a ways down underground, it looks like, so there's that. Uh, let's go... Yeah, that's all. I don't think I have it actually any... Yeah, I don't have any oxygen on me, so let's go ahead and take a look inside here and see if we've got some oxygen to fill that up with. Hmm, I wouldn't mind wiping out a few talons. They usually, they've, they, they've got bandages on them, so that, oh, I put a light here, too. They've got bandages on them, so that's always a good thing. Let's do that, and we'll just throw that in there. I forgot to paint that. I just realized I did not paint this or this in here. I guess it's all dark green, huh? A little bit boring. I got a little bit of food on me. I'm not too concerned about the food. Uh, we need to turn off our thrusters as well. There we go. All right. And copper. Where are you at? You are right. Oh, perfect. Look at this. Okay, perfect. I can just get up here. I can get right up here. F5. Oh, this isn't going to take long at all. It's really close. I think that's about as close as I'm going to get to it, though, right here. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to get uh, some of the necessities of life. If anything happens, I'll let you know. want a quick thank you guys for the tip on this guy right here. The ZR1 plant underwater. There's the red and the white. I guess I really never noticed that there was too much of a difference in the color of them. But, yeah, if you just go in the ocean or the lake. This is a lake. Uh, let me show you on the map, just in case maybe you're playing the sea, don't know. But uh, lake right here next to the deposits that we were mining out. I've got the silicon gone. I've got the copper. I've got the iron. But I thought, well, you know what? I'm so close to this big body of water in the village. Let's go see if we could find some of this. And sure enough, the T6 is everywhere. Uh, I had to go to the really deep, deep water to find the red. And there was some more over here. I know it's dark. I won't spend too much time with you guys in here. There's some more right over here. And it's... Uh, it's 100 XP for each one you pick up. So, you know, just spending a little bit of time in the ocean here, it'd be good. Now, does this stuff have... Um, oops, wrong button. Does this have an expiration on it? It does not. Okay. Awesome. So, yeah, you can spend as much time as you want down here. As long as you got the oxygen and the food, you're good to go. But then the food is easy to come by as well because there's seaweed all over the place down here that you can just constantly continue to make protein bars with. So, that's pretty awesome. So, I'm going to do... I think I'm going to spend the rest of the night before the sun comes up just down here picking this stuff up. We have a bunch of this right here, but we don't have the red. 
So I'm going to grab that, and then we'll uh, head back to base and uh, probably head off into space. I'm sure there's a few chores we got to do around the house to, to get ourselves ready to head out. But, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Again, thank you for the tip about the Alien Plasma ZR-1. Health kits are going. So that's all we needed to complete that task. The other thing is the Alien Thorn, but I know how to get those. Those are no problem at all. So, yeah, we've got what we need to get this thing going here. Um, I should probably put these guys. I just noticed I've got some seeds sitting in here. Any other ones? I like to keep those kind of organized over here with the seeds. So we know what we have when we head off into space, which we're going to do next. Yeah, and then here we've got I've got the silicon being made up into uh, uh, ingots. So yeah, we've got a little bit more of work there to go. I picked up. Let's see. Let's go take a look and see, just so you guys know. I grabbed a little bit over 500 each when it came to the iron and stuff like that. So we've got iron ingots now. Uh, is that all we have really? Is that it? No, wait a minute. There's there's more than that. This stuff just gets shuffled around after a while. It'd be nice if there was a sort button you could sort and would just throw it all in alphabetically. So, yeah, a little bit of something here. Yeah, we got a little bit of something here going on. We got some uh, iron, copper, and then the silicon's coming in. We've got a little bit of silicon right now, too. So I think that's probably going to be enough to get us going here on hopefully a capital vessel. We'll see. I want to see what is out in the reaches of our initial solar system here. So stick around. I'm going to be right back. Looks like I managed to paint this window while I was painting the ship black. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, stray spray from the gun. Okay, I'll be right back. Welcome back. I do believe we are ready to uh, lift off. I think I've got everything we need in here. Let's go to space. Twenty nine point six minutes. Let's see what we get once we hit into space. Cause yeah, it's gonna burn through some fuel. I'm okay with that. We definitely reach maximum speed very fast, which is what I wanted to do. And our first time into space above our planet is coming at some point in time. Here we are. Boom. We are now out. 80 minutes. Beautiful. Awesome. That's gold. That's a planet, I bet. The asteroid belt here. Let's give ourselves a little bit of a turn here to see what we got going on. There we go. There we go. Is that a planet way over there? I'm going to turn off our auto brake so we coast a little bit. I believe that is a, probably a planet over there. Cobalt Asteroid. We have a Cobalt Asteroid, a solid Cobalt Asteroid here. I love it. I love drifting around in space. It's really cool. It looks like it's, ooh, right up there. Nice. Okay. Let's grab some. <laughs> let's, let's go on a little spacewalk. That's always interesting. Let's turn the auto brake back on again. Last thing I want to do is crash into a uh, cobalt asteroid. Could this be some place that we could actually build a space station? having all this cobalt here? I mean, it's probably quite a bit, right? I would imagine. How close are we to that? Pretty darn close. Okay. Being very careful here now. I'm going to have to get out of this. You know what? I don't have my EVA on, on me. It's one thing I don't have. But we could probably get out and get a little bit of this. Jetpack on. That's nice. Put me in the back of the ship. Uh, let's see. What do I What do I have on? I've... 
Let's turn ourselves around. <laughs> there we go. How's that? We got some uh, radiation. That's okay. I think we're okay there. What do we have in here? Okay, I didn't bring any of this with me. What do we? Do we have anything on our suit? We have nothing. Nothing on our suit. But I'm willing to bet I can go out and get a little bit of cobalt. I should be able to get a little bit of this here real quick, right? Cobalt ore, baby. Look at that. Negative 164. Oh my god. We're not going to be able to be out here very long. <laughs> That's okay. We already got the ship we can fall back into. I'd also be curious to see if that little buddy heater wouldn't help us. <laughs> We're getting a little cold now. You are feeling cold. Yes, I know. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, for a minute here. <sighs> Hypothermia. Okay, that's that's not good. Hypothermia is never good. <sighs> How much did we get? Fifty-seven. Alright, and there we go. Cobalt underway. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's fantastic. Let's take a little fly. Let's fly around a little bit more here. Uh, I'm going to leave that marked. Let's actually, let's go to the map and let's... Uh... Let's leave that there. I, I don't know if it's going to stay there or not, but let's, let's leave it there. Let's check our map again. Asteroids, iron, silicon, copper, cobalt, promethium, and magnesium. This is a nice, nice little area. It's got a lot of good stuff for us. It doesn't have any of the real rare stuff. The erestrium, the, the satium, and the whatchamacallit, the um, zescosium. But it has some of the other things. Now, I think I've also got to be wary of uh, enemy ships out here too. Drones and stuff, possibly. Let's take a cruise through the asteroid field to see what else we find real quick. I'm curious. I'm going to keep you with me, too, because it's been a long time since I've been in an asteroid field. I prefer starting on this planet if I've got an asteroid belt like this outside. It's fantastic. This looks like it might have something in it right here. There's a pretty good dark spot right there. No, nothing. It's just a shadow on it. This is how I used to come out and get the coils. We used to be able to, you know, we'd get whatever we could and then we'd fly out here to get the rest of the coils from some of the space drones. And we can't just live on any of these asteroids. We can't just pick one and use it. And what I'm also curious is, is if I start building on an asteroid, can I eventually mine out that entire asteroid and just have my base floating in space? That's another question I've got, so I'm kind of curious about that too. Let's go around the asteroid belt real quick, and then we've got a moon over here too it looks like, huh? That's pretty nice. This is so cool. I love this. Oh, what's this up here? We got something special up here now. Copper. Something just came in over there. So are those going to stay on there forever? No, they don't. Okay, so that, well, that's a small vessel. I, what are you doing? Okay, so let's let's zoom in a little bit. Can I get this above here? 
Copper asteroid, accept. Magnesium Asteroid 2 right here. That's fantastic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. A little bit of floating there. I th No, 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 no. Cancel. I want this to say... There we go. I took some of the... Um, which call it's out of here. The uh, uh, RCSs. I'm not sure if that was maybe such a good idea. What do we have here? Derelict ship. Will it start shooting at me? If it does, we're taking off right away. Oh my god, there's a ship to explore here. Awesome. You know that's near those other asteroids, so that's fantastic. So I think we found a few couple of things here now. Uh, copper, cobalt, the iron and the magnesium. Well, we've got the magnesium and the silicon, which is fantastic. Those are those are important ones. I seem to go through silicon quite a bit, as well as the copper. Iron is kind of everywhere, and we've got quite a bit of silicon on the home planet as well, our home planet, what it is right now anyways. We're going to have to check out that ship. We've not seen any uh, rogue drones though in here, which I'm kind of surprised. A little bit bummed too. If I build out here a base, do we have to worry even about rogue drones coming in and shooting at us? Or is it just down on the planet? Because it used to be they were in space too and you had to be concerned about that. And isn't there like a spaceport out here that I could do some trading at? Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll have to take a look at our solar system too to see what's around here. That we could warp to. Uh, I need to get more pentaxid. We've got a little bit, but not enough to be warping around like crazy. Maybe next episode we'll try a warp. I've never, ever done that before. We're back in the cobalt. The other ones are here somewhere. I'll have to look around for them and stuff. I'll probably look around for them off camera now that we've been around the entire asteroid belt. There should be the um, strip graveyard out here too. I believe it's going to be beyond the asteroid belt here. What's going to be the best side of this planet to be on? What's going to be the best side? I would guess whichever side the sun is hitting the most. It's okay, there's some asteroids right there. The sun is here. Because I want solar panels on our asteroid. Our asteroid space station. really cool if there was one out here that had I don't care iron or anything on it but to be honest I think we're pretty good I think the, probably the cobalt one's going to be our best bet so far huh I mean, it is right here oh the silicon one you know what no this here's another silicon one Man, I'm thinking X marks the spot. This would be really good, you guys.
This could be, yeah, that could be a really good spot for it right here. I love it. The ship looks great. I'm thinking, though, I don't like this color scheme. I don't like the black and white. I think I'm going to go just complete gray with it. I wish we had some kind of uh, just kind of classic military type greens and stuff, too. That'd be great. Yeah, I feel like this might be just the right, uh, this might be the asteroid we're looking for. We build a space station on this, and then what we do is we get uh, a nice dock on it, someplace that we can build our CB. It's got full sun on this side, so our solar panels to just, just reap the benefits of that. Oh, well, that is really awesome. Are you guys impressed with the space stuff like I am? I just am really impressed with it. I don't know a lot about the outer space and things like that, but I do enjoy it. I think it's really an amazing thing. Oh, I think this might be it. I think this could be it right here. That could be our asteroid right there. It's nice and tall too, so we could actually um, break the base up a little bit. It depends on how much silicon is right here uh, that we have to take out of the top area. You could see it. Um, uh, let me get my cursor back on the screen for you. Well, right up in this top area here, but you can see it's a very long, lengthy asteroid. So maybe we've got... Uh, and this, again, depends on how we drill out the silicon and how much silicon's in here. Because I would stop drilling once the silicon's gone, and we'd actually turn this asteroid into the base itself, where our base is inside, outside, and around it, and stuff like that. But I do see something uh, down at this end of it right here. This is a great asteroid. I'm really happy with the size of this one and just what it looks like. Down here would be a, a, a good spot for a dock on this edge right here. Yeah, that is really awesome. Oh, there's a screenshot if I've ever seen one, huh? Space Station Asteroid? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be awesome looking. I think so. That, unfortunately, is all I have time for, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll, we're going to get into this this week. I think what I want to do is get a base block built for a base, and then we're going to bring it up here, and we're going to get the EVA, of course, put on our suit and stuff like that, and we'll be a little more prepared next time. Uh, come up here, get some of the silicon out of here, and see if we can't get a little something that we can come up and dock the ship at and, uh, you know, live up here. That'd be fantastic. I would love to live in space and then be able to jet off to all the other planets around us because there's three over there. I see three planets there. There's a, there was a gold one. The gold one was amazing. Like, let's go to our map and take a look really quick. So... Here's Kalsori. This is where we are. Briel. Samdarshi Asteroid Field. 13.6 AU is the Torma Asteroid Field. So, is there a limit to how far I can actually travel on here? The Briel has a moon on it as well. We have a moon. We've got two asteroid belts. And that is, is that all I'm seeing here? two asteroid belts in our immediate area, which, of course, is going to be full of resources. Now, it's possible, I guess, that these could possibly have Zescosium, the Sathium, and the Arestrium. Is that is that a doable thing in the asteroid belts? Let me know before we start warping and jumping all over the place whether or not we can actually do it. That's something else. I need to spend some time getting some taxid from the uh, radiated biome to see about this. Or, better yet, what I could do is just go to the moon and uh, grab it there. If I go, I could turn those off, and then I'm not using any power at all. It's just, well, except for the lights and stuff. That is fantastic. 
Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I do look forward to talking to you again next time. That's going to work out pretty good, I think. <laughs>